Hi, welcome to ShowMeTheCurry.com. I'm Hithal. I'm Anuja. And today we're going to show you how to make mushroom pilau. Um, here we have basmati rice, one cup of basmati rice that we s washed very well and soaked it uh, for about 30 minutes. You don't want to let, let it soak for more than an hour. And here is our key ingredient, mushrooms, for this recipe. We've cut them into nice thick slices and uh, the reason for that is mushrooms have a tendency to wilt away and this is going to ensure that you still feel a nice uh, mm -hmm. chunky mushroom in your mushroom below. Right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to boil some water. We've got two cups of water boiling and um, it's already come to a boil so we're going to turn off the stove now and what we're going to do is we're going to add one teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of lemon or lime juice, give it a stir. And we've got approximately 8 ounces of mushrooms cut up. We're going to add that to the water. And just make sure you push them down. And the water is off, but it's nice and hot, so we're going to cover it so that it maintains the temperature. And we're going to leave that alone while we work on the rest of our ingredients. Mm -hmm. So while our mushrooms are steeping in that water, we have a non-stick pan. It's important to use a non-stick pan for this recipe just so your rice doesn't stick and it comes out nice and fluffy. Mm -hmm. So we have one tablespoon of oil heating in there on medium heat right now. And it's already hot. So we're going to add a bay leaf and uh, an inch of uh, cinnamon stick, two green cardamoms, and over here we have four cloves. These cloves have this little bulb on top. And what they do is if you put it in hot oil, they just pop and that can be a little dangerous at times. So what we're going to do is we're going to just crush these a little bit so that, so that they don't pop in there and we are safe. And it goes into the oil. Now if you notice the cinnamon stick has kind of opened up and uh, it's a good sign it's ready. It's uh, uh, left all of its flavor into the oil, so mm -hmm. it's nice and flavored. And to this we'll add half a teaspoon of cumin seeds. Allow them to sizzle. Half a cup of chopped onions. And we'll cook this for about a minute or two until the onions get translucent. So the onions look done. To this we're going to now add one tablespoon of minced ginger and minced garlic. And we'll cook it for another one or two minutes. Okay, the mushrooms have been done. Let's have a look. Hmm, looks good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to strain out the water and now we're not going to throw it away. We're going to strain it and pour the water into a measuring cup and uh, use this water for the rice. So the flavors are still there and we haven't lost any of that mm -hmm. or the nutritional value. It's like a makeshift broth. Yes, there you go. And the other reason we do this, of course, is this process makes the mushrooms hold their texture. You know, they somehow texturize them and again, it doesn't fall apart when you're cooking the rest of the rice. And we're going to add our strained mushrooms into our onions and garlic and ginger. And now we're going to saute these mushrooms until they get a nice, a slightly brown color to them. These mushrooms are coming along really nicely. And the other, uh, of course, important reason where we soak the mushrooms, um, if you notice, there's no moisture coming out of the mushrooms while we're sauteing. So usually when we saute yeah. mushrooms, it's like a puddle of water, moisture forms in there, and it, uh, it really boils them rather than sautés them. So this way, all the moisture from the mushrooms is gone in our broth, and it gives a chance to get it really nice and caramelized. And while that's going on, I have prepped up the rice. I've drained out all the water. It's only rice now. We've got it ready. And the, the broth, the mushroom broth that we use to cook the mushrooms in. Now you need two cups of liquid. Now if you have it a little lower or more than two cups, just adjust it and make sure it is to the two cup level because that's what you're going to need for the one cup of rice. So that's all ready. So the mushrooms look beautiful. They've turned nice and brown, mm -hmm. light brown. Mm -hmm. So we're ready for the rice now. Mm -hmm. and mix. So we can also add in our dry spices at this point. One teaspoon of garam masala or to taste. Red chili powder to taste. And we're going to saute this for just a minute until the rice gets all coated. So the mushroom stock over here, you can also taste it at this point and make sure the salt is okay for you. 
So once the rice has been sauteing for just about a minute, we're going to add in half a cup of frozen peas, which have been thawed, and half of a red bell pepper, chopped, and mix. It's looking so pretty. Mm. And in goes the stock. Wow. Beautiful. Now the reason we use the red bell pepper is just so that it has that wow factor and that just pops out. So you've got the green, you've got the brown from the mushrooms, you've got the red from the bell pepper. What a beautiful, colorful dish. Right. So now we're going to keep it uncovered for a little while. I'm going to crank up the heat just a bit and we're going to allow this mixture to come to a, a rapid boil. Mm -hmm. So the pilau is boiling. It's got little bubbles coming out from all over, not just from the side. So it means it's come to a good boil. And we're going to cover it, reduce the flame to a low or a simmer and allow it to cook for 15 minutes. Now set your timer and there's no need to peek all as well. <laughs> so it's been 15 minutes and we switched off our stove. Let's take a look. Wow. It smells so good. The moment you remove the, the lid, wow. So we'll just fluff it up with a fork. See all the grains are cooked all the way through. And do this gently so you don't break away the rice. So once it's been fluffed, we're going to cover it again and allow it to rest for five minutes. And after that, you can dig into it. All right, five minutes are up. Look at that. Mm. Oh, it's so delicious. It's ready to serve. Mm -hmm. How fabulous is this? We've got some cucumber, of course, salad, whatever garnish you'd like. And we have some yogurt. You can use either plain yogurt, reta. We have a bunch of different reta recipes on our website. Check them out. Or you can just have it like this, you know. It's just so flavorful, it's honestly. It's a pretty dish, I think. Yes, and it's like, it goes with any kind of cuisine, honestly. But just a word of warning before you serve to your guests. You know, these things, the cinnamon stick, the bay leaf, the cloves, the cardamom, you can consume them, but they are a little strong. Strong, <laughs> uh, actually very strong. Yeah. So we honestly suggest all the flavor has been transferred to the rice. We suggest you pull them out, get rid of them. They've done their job. So let's dig in. Got to give it a try. Mm. Mm. It is so delicious. Fabulous. Flavors are just right yes. on. Yes. And the mushroom, you know, it has great texture. It's, it's not like mushy and it's not, uh, it's, it's got a little bit of sponginess and it's got a little bit of texture. Very, very flavorful. I think that lime juice just does the <laughs> trick. So enjoy this delicious mushroom pullout mm -hmm. and join us again on another episode of ShowMeTheCurry.com. Adding a pinch of spice to your life.